Hi, it's Michelle with Michelle James Designs, and I'm back with another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. This week we are going to add a drop shadow to the talk bubble that we created last week. So let's get started. First we're going to open our documents that we need. So we're going to hit File, Open, and I'm going to choose the picture of Chloe, and then I'm going to hit the Control key and pick the talk bubble and choose Open they're right there in the program and I'm just going to minimize the talk bubble and just use the picture for a second here make it fit and then we can see the whole thing okay so now we have our photo here and we want to add our talk bubble so we're just going to click on it and drag it up into the photo and it always hits the center I don't know why it does that but that's where it defaults so we can move it around by holding our, clicking on it and holding the mouse key down and moving it. And when you get it where you like it, just let go of the mouse. You can make it bigger by dragging and then commit to that. Okay, so now we have it in our, on our document, we want to go ahead and add our drop shadows. So we're gonna go over to the effects palette over here and there are different um, things you can choose. There's filters. Uh, this is what the one we want is the layer styles. And within the layer styles there are several choices as well. You can have bevels, you can change your element to look like plastic. These are very fun to play with when you have a moment. But we are going to choose drop shadows and then low is my favorite one but there are a whole bunch in here that you can choose well not a whole bunch it looks like eight <laughs> and then you can change them if you want to so we're gonna hit apply and make sure that w before you hit apply make sure that the talk bubble is the one that's highlighted in the layers palette and then hit apply now it did work, but it's very faint. So what we want to do is go up to our layer, layer style, style settings. This brings up this box and you can see right here, you can change the size and the distance. So it goes further away. And then you can also change the opacity and I like to keep that about 50%. This makes, by changing these away from what it's set at, I mean, going in and actually changing these, it just seems more natural. You can get more of a natural shadow look. Now, I like to have my lighting angle set this way, where it's coming, like the lighting would be coming from here and it's dropping the shadow here. Okay, and once you like it, then you can hit OK. And there you have your drop shadow. Now if we wanted to add more elements to this and we wanted all of our shadows to be the same, you can say we just want another element. Okay, so now it's there. This one has the layer style you can see right here it's got the FX where it's got some effects in it we can right click and we can copy the layer style and then click on the new one right click and paste the layer style and then we have the exact same shadows on our document which is what you want you want your document I, I think anyway um, to have the same shadows so it all looks uniform. So that is how you add drop shadows to your elements. I hope you enjoyed this video and please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, see you next week.